before we get into the podcast, I want to point out that we did, obviously, as you can tell, name it the Aces Podcast. Uh, but in the recording of this podcast, we didn't know what the name was, so I called it Podcast Time. So that's why we joke around at how bad the name Podcast Time is. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the podcast, and now let's get to the podcast. Are, are we really calling this podcast time? I have, I have such a creative way of naming naming things. What obviously. it is, time, right? Yeah, that's ex- the only the only thing that isn't named like something and time. I'm pretty sure is nerd out, and ironically, this I feel would be just a longer nerd out episode. Yeah. But with more topics, yeah. whereas I only talk about like one thing in Nerd Out. I, I, I actually really like the branding on Nerd Out. I feel like you just need like a splashy like logo and then like an intro where like Nerd and Out slide into the middle and yeah. like hit brick like hit a brick wall <laughs> on the other side and then explode into like <laughs> yeah blood or something. I yeah. dude I actually I uh, when I first named Nerd Out I was like this happened with uh, when I was writing Justin time mm-hmm. as well, but. Uh, that was, uh, I called him a Time Lord. I was like, oh, I feel so original. And then I found out that's what the yeah. Doctor from Doctor Who is. And I'm like, shit. So then I renamed him. But with Nerd Out, I also went, oh, this is so original. This is so cool. This is so Nerd Out. Mm-hmm. Then I looked up Nerd Out, and I found there's a YouTube channel called Nerd Out. And they do music videos of, like, nerdy stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I got, I should rename it. With, and I left it to whoever was watching, and then someone went i like the name i think it was actually my youtube friend poison friend 13 mm-hmm. he's like i like the name nerd out i went well it's gonna be nerd out i don't care if i get sued yeah i don't i mean i don't know it's it's different content the only issue yeah. is like but i don't know because it's like we were talking about you can you can name a movie whatever you want like yeah like you can you can name a movie it's, it's as long as it's like not exactly the same yeah like it doesn't matter like, like we were talking uh night of the living dead yeah, there's can, like so many night of the living dead movies but they're all so different yeah. but they're all zombie movies i feel like i really poorly explained that before you actually brought up what we were talking about <laughs> yeah. like, you can call it as long as it's different i didn't mean the name i meant like the yeah. contents um, yeah on this podcast we're gonna be talking about topics in basically the entertainment industry as a whole movies tv possibly music and games. video games and then also stuff that's going on in our lives and our youtube channels so uh let's start off with the the big boy it's three weeks away, uh, Avengers Endgame. We've only seen our big purple boy Thanos once, technically twice in the trailers, because mm-hmm. there was one that was dropped earlier this week that was a one minute. It basically was, uh, you find out Tony survived, uh, and they, they're, Tony and Cap shake hands, mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do this, and then they go after Thanos, and that was the main th- that's the time I'm only counting as you see him once because in the trailer which you just watched all you see is the yeah. Infinity Gauntlet or wait no that was a teaser you see it, him in a teaser yeah. of the Infinity Gauntlet not, it's not that I had just watched it for the first time again yeah. but one I rewatched it yeah, to... you were just refreshing yourself yes. on it the reason I brought it up as well is because I want to talk about our thoughts on superhero movies because yeah. I don't think you actually said it on, on in videos or anything but you're not like a fan of superhero movies no, i have like, you you'd watch a superhero movie like if you i mean to. i i don't like i don't go to the theaters ever i don't yeah. care about going to the theaters i don't watch many movies like I'll, I'll watch a movie that's 10 years old when the fan like i i don't watch many like movies to keep up with at times i don't really yeah. care but i like if it's on and i'm sitting there and i don't want to move i'll watch it yeah <laughs> but that's like goes for any movie like yeah, i don't like it's not any even genre just, yeah any genre like yeah like i don't it's not just for that, movies. that's kind of like with me but i'll go to the theater to see like specific let's or i'll keep it on superhero movies if it's a superhero movie i'm like oh that looks cool i want to look at i want to check it out i'll mm-hmm. go to the theater because i think the only marvel cinematic universe movie if because you know, those are the big superhero yeah. movies the, uh, the only one I think I've seen in the theaters was Doctor Strange because it was like it wasn't something following Iron Man or Captain America it was a magician basically yeah. so I was like oh I want to see that plus it has my favorite character in the MCU the cloak the cape, yeah. yeah the cape so there's that so it's just like we'll go to, we'll watch a movie if it's on or yeah I, I or just can't believe like 
everyone's not just burned out on superhero movies at this point. I found out, or I think I see, like, people are like, oh, another Marvel movie, but then they go and watch it. Yeah. It's like, it's like, Hollywood is making what they're seeing makes money, so the MCU is obviously making money, so they're making it. Well, it's obviously making money because DC wanted to copy it. Yeah. Um, to, to, some, they had some successful results, though. Um, Aquaman. Aquaman and Wonder Woman did well. Um, I don't think Justice League did it as well as they wanted it to. I think Shazam is going to do well. I think That's, Shazam is going to do well. That's probably one that, of the... That. Along with, honestly, Joker and Shazam, I, I those think, are, like, interesting looking. Yeah. Like, I, it's like a it's twist on it. Yeah. It's, like, not playing it straight. Like, I feel like my issue with not playing it straight, like, like, like no jokes, but playing it straight as in, like, um, it's not just an it's Iron not- Man... Or, or in a, you know, yeah. like a, or a, like a, like a war, Batman or, or Batman. It, it's like, it's something different, I think, at yeah. least. Plus, like, there's the joke where, like, I saw a meme where it had, like, I don't like the, the DC movies because they're too dark. And, uh, and someone's like, but they have great story. And someone's like, no, I mean, literally, they're too dark. I can't see yeah. what's going on. Like, Shazam, Joker... Aquaman, they're all colorful, well, and bright. Colored, what we what we can colored. say is that they're not directed by Zack Schneider. Yeah. So that's a plus, <laughs> always in every way. Yeah. Um. Oh, and then who? Uh, but Zack Schneider didn't direct Wonder Woman. It was yeah. It was uh, Peggy yeah. something, I believe. Yeah. She what? She also directed Monster, I think. Hmm. Monster with Charlie Theron, I believe. I will check that real quick. But. Yeah, like, superhero, or, like, if superhero movie looks interesting or different, I would, I'll go watch it. But otherwise, if it's just, like, like, oh, you gotta watch it, because it ties in to, like, the movies leading up to Infinity War, they're, like, pumping them out, and everyone's like, you gotta watch it, or you know what's going on in Infinity War. I think before Infinity War, the most recent movie I saw was Captain America Civil War in mm-hmm. that timeline. And I understood Infinity War, even without yeah. seeing, like, Guardians 2, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, and yeah. whatever movies were in between. Well, uh, I looked up, by the way, it's Patty Jenkins. Yeah. I think I said Peggy or something. Yeah. Patty Jenkins, and she did direct Monster. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I feel that. I feel like, um, because Infinity War, um, as well as, I think, Civil War, for the most part, there wasn't, like, this, like character development that you expect in a movie you know a movie is like the characters and they change but the avengers movies the big team of movies the characters already set so you don't really need to change them you just need to change the world around them yeah um which didn't happen in age of ultron because age of ultron was trash yeah (laughs) fuck you uh whatever josh joss sweden or whatever the fuck yeah trash um (laughs) no but i i feel like in terms of, like, you don't need to see them all, I agree. But I feel like if you go in there and you see and you're like, I'm not going to watch Guardians of the Galaxy, and then they're, like, a big part of it, you're like, who are these characters? What do they do? Why do yeah. they do? I think it's the only thing. Like, you don't need to see the sequels. Yeah. I think that's the important bit. Like, like I think as long as you see, like, maybe phase one of the MCU, mm-hmm. and then, like, the, like, Guardians 1, Doctor Strange. Yeah, like... and. Spider-Man like, Homecoming, you'll understand Infinity War. Yeah. Because like, basically it's just all those characters and getting together to fight Thanos. Yeah. And if you also think about it, you don't even have to watch the other movies to understand Thanos because they introduce him in yeah. uh, the first Avengers. Well, he's like... Even if you didn't even watch the first Avengers, like, that's... Well, that's yeah. You can almost not even see that, like, little teaser and you still yeah. would be like, oh, like, big purple guy... Because yeah. he's the only one with, like, a character, like, yeah, like, arc story. I've thing. heard Infinity War is basic, is should have been called Thanos Infinity War because yeah. it was Thanos' movie. It was, he was, like, the protagonist and the Avengers were the antagonist. Yeah. He had a goal and he was going to see it through. And also, you don't have to see the Thanos teasers to find out what he wants to do in yeah. Infinity War because he basically says flat out, I'm going to wipe out half of the population in the universe to make more re- or to make the resources last yeah and not to even talk about his strange plan 
really weird like why don't you just have your fingers and make more resources I don't know yeah. so you got a lot of power in your pocket <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess moving moving still in um, still in superheroes the Walking Phoenix Joker movie yeah trailer just dropped uh, there was that original teaser where it's like the spinning and then the clown makeup goes on him and I thought that yeah. looked interesting Walking Phoenix is a great act great actor um, and I like Jared Leto he was terrible in yeah. uh in, Suicide Squad. Uh, in Suicide Squad, it was terrible. It was just a terrible movie. No good performances Wait, from anyone. Can I just uh, I'll just point out? So I watched Jack's films. I can't say Suicide Squad anymore without going Suicide Squad, like how he says it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's that's how much respect I have for Suicide Squad. I didn't even see it, and I hate it. I think also what happened was I think it won best makeup. It did it, over Star over Trek. Star Trek, and that yeah, just like that really pissed terrible. me off. I was like. How, how I saw uh, someone's explanation for that was well the killer croc he had to spend yeah. all that time makeup like it still looks sh- like shit though yeah like it's, it still looks terrible like which I've is seen, partially the lighting I've but. seen like uh, cosplay pe- or people who make cosplays or cosplayers I've seen them make better makeup than some movies yeah I don't know. it was it was a weird that was a weird that was a weird movie. Oscars. As, that was weird, but um, uh, but yeah, the the Joaquin, yeah, Joaquin Phoenix, Phoenix movie. I I I had a question, uh, not necessarily for you, but like for the existence of humanity. Yeah, is this this isn't canon then? Mm-hmm. Have they ditched the 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 DC extended universe, or is this just not canon? I don't think this is canon because I think I think the movie or I think the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Is just a standalone film. Okay, and then so, like they're gonna focus on films like Shazam, Aquaman, and. But Justice is are they League still doing the, the the DC universe? Is I, it still like? I cinematic? think so. Is it still but, cinematic? Is it still? Is, <laughs> is it still? Is it still movies? Or are they doing movie? books now? <laughs> Can I go read a dozen books about superheroes? <laughs> All the font is size thirty six. It's really big. It's not even comic books. Do they have any pictures except on the cover? Well, no, they do have pictures. They're just pictures of Zack Schneider explaining uh, Turkish Airlines. <laughs> Did you ever see those trailers for no. Batman v Superman? Turkish Airlines gave Warner Brothers money for the movie, and they had to put Turkish Airlines in the movie. And Zack Schneider sat, <laughs> Frank said, the thing I'm so excited about with Turkish Airlines is they're like a global brand, and it gives us like a global look to the movie because we're creating these two cities two amazing cities metropolis and and uh gotham gotham yeah thank you for that quick pickup it's like and so having turkish airlines brings a little bit of realism and and they have such a high quality brand it's like fuck off zach fuck (laughs) off go go make some shitty fake comic book movie sucker punch go go back to that (laughs) at least at least liam told me it looks interesting like visually it's interesting it looks like garbage still because it's a zach schneider film the man just cannot help i can only Make see the character's terrible. face when gunshots happen yeah because the muzzle flash <laughs> zach schneider films i the the best thing i saw was a uh nostalgia nostalgia critics review of batman v superman mm-hmm. the best thing that i heard was one of his uh like employees or that played uh, his zach schneider and he kind of looked like zach mm-hmm. schneider and uh he in like a high-pitched nasally voice he was like we did what marvel did in 10 years with two films and i was like that's the problem (laughs) you you rushed it i had i did not care that superman died in in batman v superman spoilers but i think it's like for years years, everyone's shat on it if you if if you hadn't seen it you probably didn't care um i didn't i didn't even see i i bought it uh, recently to watch it so that i could watch did you get the extended cut no i got the normal what the fuck it adds an r rating there's like uh really? co- there's, there's a there, rating it's a there they had an r rating there's a there's they had like a whole subplot that they cut out and it's not good i and mean all the subplots aren't good the plot isn't good yeah. have everything about it uh but joaquin phoenix's joker rough talk yeah, yeah joaquin phoenix's joker i had an issue with the trailer I, cause I thought it looked interesting. I like, ooh, this is moody. It's interesting. But then whenever he did anything, they made like a, like a, like right. a whoosh noise. It's like, yeah, just if that's in the movie, 
dear god is that tacky <laughs> if it's just in the trailer dear god that's tacky <laughs> like it just it's like it's a bit like yeah, just just stop just let the let it speak for itself you don't have to tell yeah. me Ooh, it's spooky yeah you don't have to tell me when i'm supposed to be spooked <laughs> like it's fine i was watching uh jeremy john's video about the trailer mm-hmm. and he brought up something where i was like oh god that would be actually really interesting to see that kid that he puts mm-hmm. the smile on he was like some people are saying that that could possibly be bruce bruce wayne well, i think that would have been that would be cool like somehow joaquin phoenix's joker is linked to batman they already did that in one of the fucking yeah. in the uh did you ever dance in the no, the Jack Nicholson, right? Wasn't he? Didn't he kill Batman's parents in that movie? Jack Nicholson Maybe. was the Joker. I don't dance in the moon with the devil in the pale moonlight. Didn't yeah. he say that? And he said that when he killed the parents. I think they already Maybe. did that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. They already did that. And I don't know. I don't. If it's standalone, they shouldn't do that because then they're setting up. Then they'd be setting up another. Yeah, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. People didn't know that that Venom wasn't a marvel it wasn't yeah part of the mcu yeah yeah people are not gonna know that joaquin phoenix's joker isn't part of the dc cinematic universe yeah the general movie going public probably won't know yeah if it's not so i just i think it's really weird to do it now and still continue because if jared leto ever appears in a movie as the joker they're gonna go yeah. i thought it was joaquin phoenix it's not did they switch actors they switched actors and i don't Again? like this one he looks yeah. stupid. He's got tattoos all over his face. He goes, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. He's dumb. <laughs> they go, isn't that the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars? <laughs> I'm drinking at the same time just to make that audio yep. dead. Dead <laughs> silence except for glug glug. No, but I think it looks interesting. Yeah. Uh, the only problems I had was just hopefully the trailer being a bit cheesy yeah but otherwise like oh another thing that someone people were pointing it out in the comments of that and this how i heard it in the jeremy johns video if you watch closely in the trailer like at the beginning he's like slouched he has no confidence and by the end when he's like full makeup in that he's like dancing like mm-hmm. very confident it's like you see his confidence level get go higher as the more insane he when gets. he yeah when he was attacked in the trailer when he was attacked on the train yeah i sort of thought this could have been interesting if it wasn't so stupid yeah <laughs> like in a certain certain way like it could have almost been a commentary not that i want it to be a commentary but it could have been a commentary on like society but it almost feel like it's too extreme like it's like who got beat up because he's holding a sign. He got beat up because he laughed on a train. Like, yeah. It feels almost like, well, that's a couple too many beatings. Like, let's be real. Like, yeah. that's that's not what would happen. But, the, no, it's, it's, but they're like, Gotham's gone bad. It's like, okay, then it's not really a, a commentary. It could have been, but they didn't go that angle. But if they yeah. still try to go that angle, I'm a bit, like, mm. I mean, I guess it depends on how well it gets pulled off. So we yeah. have to wait till October. We will have to wait till October when I turn 21 and become an alcoholic and go insane <laughs> like Joaquin Phoenix. And I will be 20 to be your designated driver. <laughs> oh. What else? Uh, Mark Hamill, Chucky. Chucky. Yeah, on March 30th, he announced that uh, he's going to be voicing Chucky in the reboot. And I'm still confused about the reboot because I heard they're still going the original route as well. And also making a TV show based off the original route. Or at least oh. that's what I heard once. And then there's this reboot. But another thing was, this. not only is it a reboot, Chucky, in my opinion, feels like he's not a possessed doll anymore. Like, he's more of a robot. Yeah. I hear, look, here's my opinion on Chucky. When I was a kid and I saw Chucky masks in, like, the, the Halloween store or whatever, yeah. I didn't even think they were that creepy. Like, And they were like, this is from Chucky 7, and I went a lot of chucky movies now it is like a grown-ass man who's seen chucky chucky is a shit it's a shit movie Mm -hmm. i don't think it's very good i i know why they got mark hamill number one star power number two he's not tied on star wars so who cares number three he's got a great voice for it he did the joker in animated series he's great he he did skips in regular show i found that out and also have you seen the spongebob episode where spongebob is afraid of the dark so he fills his entire house with night lights and it basically becomes a beacon of light yeah i think so that moth villain 
that it's like one of Mermaid Man Bart mm-hmm. Boy's art nemesis is, he voiced that moth. I mean, he's a very talented voice actor. I just yeah. don't know if I'd ever want to be associated with a Chucky movie. Yeah. I personally, <laughs> uh, I just think Chucky is terrible. I don't think it's, it's scary. It's really a slasher movie. It's not a horror movie. It's like yeah. a slasher. Yeah. But it's not a very good slasher. Yeah. It's just like, um, what's scarier than a, a man in a in a costume that you can't see the face and he's holding a big knife? A doll that doesn't look scary. It well, has the strength possessed. of a doll and has a small and it has a knife. You're like, oh my god, punt the bitch, you know? I just yeah. kick the chair, fuck. <laughs> just, you know, kick the bitch. Yeah. What's your opinion on Chucky? I. Like, the original Chucky series, like, it's not hurting me that they're making more movies, so go ahead. I have a friend who's, like, like his favorite slasher is Chucky, so I'm just like, alright. But, uh, this reboot, it just makes me feel like he's, a, he's like, a mini Terminator. Like, the next thing you'll see is Chucky going, well, come with me. If you like, in the live. first one, he was, like, they threw him in a fire and he still climbed out, and you were like, okay, well. Scream fucking made fun of that trope. Too. like scream they were like and like uh, oh my god uh, jamie kennedy or whatever he was like and now the supernatural villain comes back to life for one last scare and then he goes the guy the villain goes ah and then they shoot him again because <laughs> it's supposed to it's, yeah. it's the joke um i'm just like shocked that you we're still seeing like those shitty tra- i mean scream past scream one it's a garbage franchise yeah um but i don't feel like chucky was ever like rose above like the other slashers in my opinion i just i'm also not a fan of slashers too like to begin with i'm like slashers are just like whatever like when i say i'm like ah blood yeah when i say i'm not a fan i don't mean i dislike because there's not many genres i would ever actively dislike like that takes more effort than it is to me go "Eh." like slashers aren't i don't seek out slashers that's what i mean yeah i'm not a fan yeah I'm a fan. I'm gonna say I'm a fan with quotes of Nightmare on Elm Street because mm-hmm. I haven't watched the Nightmare series yet, but it looks interesting to me. But otherwise, every other slash is just kind of like, eh. uh, like Freddy was like like more original in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like like Jason. Like oh, it's just a well, the first guy in hockey uh, mask, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, it was his um, mom. It was his mom, and that was not... I don't know why the, they ever made sequels, because it didn't make any sense to me, the sequels. Because, like, oh, sure, right. there's, like, the twist ending of Friday the 13th, where, oh, my God, a skinny, ugly thing out of the lake. But to me, that was just, like, a spooky jump scare to leave the audience. Yeah. So when they're like, Jason's back, and he's jacked. It's like... Uh, how? Why? Well, that's my question. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? What happened? Mrs. Well, Mrs. Voorhees is fucking dead, so... Yeah. Why? Spoilers on Friday the 13th, by the way. Yeah. That fucking 40-year-old movie. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler is, Jason's back, and he's pissed, and he's gone steroids. Ooh. Um, what, uh, what else? Uh, oh, speaking of Chucky being basically a mini Terminator, uh, the Terminator 6 movie just got its title released, and also its release date announced. It mm-hmm. will be called... Terminator Dark Fate and is to release November 1st, 2019. And I'm assuming it takes place after Dr- Genesis. Termi- yeah, Genesis. But they it has Linda Hamilton repraising her role as Sarah Connors. She played Sarah Yeah, I know, I know, but like didn't Daenerys <laughs> what was her name? Uh, Emily whatever. Yeah. She was her in Genesis, so... Yeah, so, um, I don't know what the... Multiple timelines. Yeah, uh, the guy who point. played uh, Captain Boomerang in, in Suicide yeah. Squad was in Genesis 2, and yeah. it was... Oh, the so 11th, was the 11th, Smith. The 11th Doctor was uh, a Terminator slash Skynet. That movie was so fucking bad. <laughs> so bad. Have you ever seen the Red Letter Media a video where they try to explain the Terminator timeline? No. It's, it it's like 10 minutes, and it's, it's really good, um... But I, who gives a shit about Terminator? Okay, here's the thing about Terminator. Because people saw it and they're like, Arnold's not a big star anymore because it didn't draw on the audiences yeah. in the US. In Europe, he's still really loved. Um, and that's the thing. Like, I don't think this is going to do well in the US. I think it's probably going to do okay in Europe. Probably not going to do well in like Asian markets. I don't know how yeah. well Genesis did, but I assumed not well because 
sure there are like action set pieces but there's not the story isn't dumb enough there is so much technical jargon and yeah. lingo that i can't see it doing well in like chinese audiences because they just don't prefer movies like that yeah um you know actually i forgot to mention this about the end game the reason I, I told you i why did i see something about the end game i thought it was a meme and I was like, what meme was it it was a dude who who sat at a piano and played the piano every time there was a bad haircut and he only did it for jeremy renner <laughs> Uh, like the the scene where he turns and you can see like the the like the like fade all, yeah, yeah. Just, like the shade just, kind of of just spams the piano <laughs> that's where I saw that um no but I I I don't oh in that um uh, teaser that came out that finally showed Thanos mm-hmm. Jeremy Renner also has a tattoo sleeve on his like I think it's his left arm I'm just like. <laughs> Man, your family turned to dust and you just went rogue like that. <laughs> Hawkeye's a badass now. He does steroids. Uh, he uses swords. Hawkeye's, <laughs> Hawkeye's lame. Terminator sucks. Movies suck. Why Why? Why more Terminator? It's terrible. Do uh, you want to talk anything about video games? Uh, I want to quick bring up, have you seen the trailer for yesterday? Uh, no. I it's, so. it's a movie where it's the Beatles. What oh. if the Beatles never existed, but one oh, guy yeah. remembers the music? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, I thought it could be interesting, but they sort of threw away the whole movie in the trailer. Like, yeah. It's so, it's like, okay, the conceit, you just show the conceit, you show the guy performing. Interesting. But then, like, there's his girlfriend from back when he was poor and nobody cared about him, and she's like, you've changed. And he's like, what? And they break up, and I'm like, well... And now I know the plot. Yeah. This, if it's if it's this simple of a plot, then I know what this is. It's the notebook plot. That's what I call it. I yeah. know it's really simple. It's the it's just the simple three act structure where it doesn't need a second act, but you give it a second act anyway. Yeah. Where it's the second act is the, the second act low point. It doesn't need that, but you do it anyway. Yeah. Um, where it's oh, the couple splits up and they have to get back together by the end because that's how true love works. Fuck you. <laughs> um, but if I, I I feel like I already know the plot. Yeah. So I I just feel like I don't even need to watch it. The only it was it was like a trailer that I watched. It was like okay, he gets knocked out, wakes up. Beatles never happened, but he still no, but he knows how to play the Beatles songs, and he takes credit for all of them. Okay, that's a that's a decent movie. I wouldn't go to the theater to buy it to watch to watch it. But yeah, I mean the one thing I've got to say is um the fucking. Uh, there's a part where where he's on a talk show and, and he says these two claim that they wrote these songs and it's like they walk in and one guy's barefoot and you're like oh my god it's the Beatles from the Abbey Road cover but is that is that gonna be like part of the plot because why would you give yeah. that away yeah why are you away that the Beatles are still actually <laughs> I just don't know um I feel like the actor oh Zach sent me a message um the actor. I don't want to. I don't want to say because I'm going to be racist if I'm wrong. But wasn't he the guy in the Big Sick? I thought so. It's been a while since I saw that trailer. I thought that looked like an interesting um, trailer. I never saw the movie. Yeah. But yeah. if this is the guy, I will have to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, Himesh Patel. A career, I guess. No. It's not. What was I thinking of? The guy who was in the big sick is in something. This isn't what I was thinking of then. I think he's... I think i just seen him recently on, like, the thumbnail for the Twilight Zone reboot. Yes. Where he's going to be yes. in an episode called The Comedian. Speaking of reboots... Uh, yeah, Kumail and Johnny. I don't know why yeah. I thought. What, was, what is... But yeah. speaking of reboots, they're everywhere. Because you were talking about Terminator... Chucky. Uh, He's in Men in Black International. Uh, and the Lego Ninjago movie. We were looking it up because yeah. we were talking about Men in Black. Yeah. And you, you brought that up. That's why I was thinking out of it. I don't know why I thought that yesterday because it's an Indian guy and I'm a racist, yeah. obviously. Not just because I couldn't remember what we were talking about. But <sighs> reboots, like Men in Black as well, that's basically a reboot. Yeah. Uh, but they're everywhere and yet everyone complains about them and yet they're still making them. Because Dumbo think... just came out. It was uh, 
It opened, according to Variety, it opened to $45 million on its opening weekend. What was the budget? Did you see that? I don't think so. I can look it up. Um, look, here's my thing about about Dumbo. I'm never going to see it, specifically because Arcade Fire has a song on it. Yeah. On the soundtrack. And Arcade Fire are sellouts consistently trying to state, oh, it's $170 million, so not bad for that budget. Yeah. They keep trying to convince me they're not sellouts and they're sellouts. <laughs> but I don't I'm not interested. I'm just not interested in Dumbo. Yeah. Like like all like most of the movies this year I looked it up for a video. Most of them are reboots. Well, let's or look down sequels. let's look down the list of the movies we talked about here. Yeah. Um we have Avengers. Avengers. Okay, well that's part of a series. Yeah. So So that's like a sequel. Uh you next one that. uh Chucky reboot. The reboot. Terminator sequel. reboot. Yeah, sequel. sequel slash part of the reboot. reboot. Uh, um, and we talked about Walking Phoenix Joker, which is not a reboot, it's, but it's it's, it's still part of like a series, right? Like, all the movies that are coming out part of mostly franchise. are reboots or sequels or part of franchises. Yeah. yeah, there's I think there was only like a couple that I saw where I was like, I that aren't like franchises or s- reboots in that where I was like, I might watch it, but then again, I don't know that it could have been a reboot, like a move, like the a ki- the kid who would be king. Is a different take on the yeah. King Arthur story, uh, Alita Battle Angel. That's a yeah, book. That's, that was a that manga, was a manga yeah. but it was so um, interesting. Look, we talked. We did say we did mention yesterday. That's not as far as I know yeah. a reboot or anything. Probably, I mean, why would I be reboot? Um, yeah. but I feel like a lot of the times, if you're gonna go to the movies, you're gonna see a spectacle. You're not gonna see a drama or like yeah, like a, a like um like. That's the thing when when I, you look at the Oscars, people go, "What is this?" It's like, well, they're films, but they're not spectacles. So if you look at like how much money they made, they probably didn't make that much. Yeah, it's because nobody went to the movie to go. I want to like, watch the movie about Dick Cheney. Like, because that'll be a spectacle. Like, no, yeah. you go, <laughs> like this past Oscars was the first time a superhero film was nominated for Best Picture, and that was Black Panther. That's a shitty movie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Black Panther. I, I haven't seen it. I just wasn't interested in it. Um, I don't. I don't like Black Black Panther. I don't think it's good. I mean, it's like when I say I don't think it's good. I just think it's a standard Marvel movie. I don't think it's like it's stands basi- out. It's basically meet the hero, meet the villain. They fight. Done. I mean, there's or they fight once. There's the hero stuff loses, in it. Fight to- fight second time. Hero wins. I mean, there's stuff in it. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a tarot movie. I think I did say it's a piece of shit. Yeah. But I say everything's a piece of shit. I don't think it's... I don't think it's, like... Other than the actual terrible CGI that looks really bad, it's just... To me, like, when I say Moana's a piece of shit, I just... Because I just, like, I don't need to watch this. I know the plot. There's nothing that could possibly surprise me. The director is good of Black Panther. Yeah. He also did Creed, I believe. Yeah. So, I think think he's a good director. I don't think... I don't think he did his best work here. Because I feel like uh, Marvel was very much like they're checklist, probably, like you need these things. Yeah, plus they were also like probably checklisting, like we need to get the Black Panther movies. And yeah, all that I out think before May. I so think this is pretty much just more. like they rushed him and they gave him like this is what you need to do, and he's like, can I do my own thing? And they're like, no, no, you have to do this, this, and this. Because I don't think he's a big enough director to, to for them to warrant that, because that would be a risk, and Marvel's not here to take risks like they do yeah. they do more than like dc has with theirs but at the same time they don't take a risk in the actors or directors yeah they don't do that but like i feel like with the reboots the uh the main the main thing with the reboot is hollywood is going remember this movie remember yeah this, right remember this movie and well, it's just like remember this remember that it's like yeah i remember those but there's also a future, you know. I don't have to live. Yeah, in, right. I don't have to live in '90s nostalgia all my life. Well, I think it ushered in a new era of like, remember this? It's like, yeah, yeah n- sure. <laughs> uh. To be fair, I haven't seen it, but I think that was probably like leagues better than the original it. Oh well, the original it was it was TV. It was yeah, a TV. It was a TV. Movie, right? Yeah, I think it was TV production. So yeah, obviously, so. it'd be be leagues above it. Yeah. Well. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I I think the older one was loved. 
and it's probably still is. I don't know if it holds up that well, and there is a part where underage children have an orgy. I don't think that was in the movie, though. Or, yeah, not in the movie. <laughs> I don't think they, yeah. I don't it, think they showed the that. Yeah. It was in the book. They didn't have yeah. the kid from Stranger Things fucking that girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, movie gods from this. How, what about Game of Thrones? How do you feel yeah, about Game, Game of Thrones Game of premiere? Thrones, Game of Thrones premiered, or had its New York premiere at Radio City Music Hall on April 3rd. And if you're like me, who doesn't really watch Game of Thrones, actually, I've never. I'm part of that one percent of the population look, that have never seen it. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I don't give a shit about the show anymore. Yeah. The show. Uh, I read the books. I read the books. I'm so special. No, I'm not <laughs> special for having read the books. I don't care. Um, the show. It just. It, t- I'm not gonna sit through our forty eight. Forty eight. Are they half hour episodes? I. I think they're hour long because they're on HBO. I'm not. Uh, either way, I'm not going to sit through the episodes of something I already know because I did read the books, yes. and I'm not going to watch the stuff that they're just making up because I'm going to read whenever George R. R. Martin fucking finishes his book. Yeah, asshole. Well, like, <laughs> but if you're wondering like why it's a big deal because uh, there there are those people, mm-hmm. I bet it's because it's it's final season. This is this is it. You, we're, I like where you're like. There are those people. That's you. That's you, that, asshole. That is me. That's yeah. you. That's me, and I'm hoping there's other people like that. Like, You're okay. hoping. You're not sure. That's the I'm, issue. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. Oof. Um. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. It's finally over. That's all I can say. Like, finally, people won't p- complain on Twitter. Oh, don't talk to me for the next two days. I need to watch Game of Thrones. Thing. Okay. It's just a show. Yeah. It's just like, a show. It's a show that's gone down in quality. Yeah. Um, I also I also hate it when people are like, like oh don't bother me I'm binge watching this show and it's like like yeah I really like the show Lucifer I'm not gonna be like don't bother me I'm watching Lucifer at the moment <laughs> to get ready for season 4 only on Netflix <laughs> not sponsored not sponsored <laughs> hashtag not sponsor um, hashtag get Tom Ellis on the podcast <laughs> right <laughs> on the first episode <laughs> games is it time for me to bring up games uh yeah uh, i mean a couple things is uh did you did i send the pic i don't know i didn't show you the picture think... there's a i didn't show you the picture but yeah. um there was in dmc5 don't have liam here unfortunately he loves yeah devil he doesn't love devil may cry he plays he's playing devil may cry yeah uh, i think he's on four but there was a scene where um i think it's dante's holding trish and she's naked and you can't see anything but that didn't stop Sony from adding a giant lens flare across her ass crack, <laughs> so you couldn't tell. It's like, oh, I can't tell that that's a naked ass. No, it's like no. But yeah. okay, think. What company would you expect to have this, and where would you expect them to have this censorship? I don't know. I I want to say Microsoft for some reason. Xbox allowed it. PC allowed it, and Sony did not allow it in the U.S. I believe it was still, like, full ass crack in Japan. <laughs> so, but Sony finally took it away. Um, and Epic Games, not to say anything about them. But they actually, fun, so I was going to bring up Borderlands 3, because yeah. that's that stuff is dropping up. Borderlands 3 is going to be an Epic Games exclusive for yeah, six I, months. Oh, so it's only for... Six months. Yeah. Which is still, like... I, I was hearing that, because my brother last night, who's watching Boogie2988, mm-hmm. talked about it, and... They were talk. He brought up how fans were going to the older games to review bomb them because Borderlands Three is going out on Epic. Borderlands Three, and I'm yeah. just like, it was like, why are you review bombing the? Other they because they did the yeah. same thing for um, Metro. Yeah. It's to basically tell the developer we're not happy. Yeah. Um, Metro did a really bad. The met the one Metro one supposed Metro developer made a statement when people said, well, we're just not going to buy the game. Uh, his statement was, um, fuck you, we're not going to bring it to PC next time. So, Lord knows that it's a bad idea to respond. Just, you you made, you made you dug your grave, rest in it. Yeah. Everyone will forget in a year if the game... If the game is good, people will, in six months, we'll say... Forgive and forget. All right, at least it's not a piece of shit. The thing is... after A year after that, they'll forgive and forget. Yes, a year after that, though, forgive and forget. 
I, I'll, I'll just skip straight to that because I did have a list of that stuff before this. But we can talk about this. Yeah. Borderlands 1, the trailer released, I'm like, oh, cool. Not Borderlands 1. Borderlands 3, the trailer yeah. released, the first trailer. I'm like, oh, cool. There's some neat stuff in this. There's a brick sack solo. I'm like, oh, that's that's funny. There's like, there's guns with legs. And I'm like, okay, f- cool. This is not like the announcement, nor is it, it's like a reveal. It's like, it's like we're working on it. it well, yeah, it was sort of like a development. They called it, someone called it the development trailer, where they were just like, Borderlands sure. 3 is happening. They did not give a date. They said, Look for more information on April third, which was when uh, the Borderlands one, um, like remaster, was supposed to come out. Yeah, and it did come out. I say supposed to. Um, but it it didn't show too much. It just showed new characters, old characters are still here, new worlds. Like it didn't try to show too much stuff. And they just dropped a trailer. Like um, I think it was on the third that showed so new they're stuff. Kind of, they're kind of going the. Halo Infinite route just kind of showing yeah, yeah. Way, I think that was just supposed to be like. that yeah like just what um, um and immediately after like not even an hour after that trailer was posted um it wasn't posted it was actually shown live um uh I don't I think it's Polygon someone at Polygon was like it was disappointing it's like can, you can't even give it a day now can't even give it a day um they were like they said that it didn't look any visual improved and I, I don't think that's that, that's i mean that's just a bold faced lie which to me it just reads like an article that someone wrote before the trailer and then the trailer came out they added the last two paragraphs and sent it in yeah because how would that have gotten approved how would that have been written checked and approved that quickly yeah to me that's just nuts and it <laughs> there was also i sent you a tweet from Eurogamer that was i think it i don't know if it's on april fools but i don't know if it was a joke but it even if it is a joke, it's still, like, really sad. They replied to someone, and they... Someone said, shut down your website or something. <laughs> and and some they replied, we're making too much money off your hate clicks. And to me, that's just the state of, like, all these shitty games publications. We're making too much money off your hate clicks. Yeah. It's like... Because that's the only... <laughs> that's the only way I can imagine someone immediately approving this thing. Like... Yeah. That's hate clicks. We'll get, we'll get hate clicks. Um, and, uh... I, I mean... Uh, Senran Kagura, it's back to censorship. Senran Kagura, have you, do you know about those games or the the anime titty games? Just oh yeah, the, the, on like the girl they're in bikinis, they have water guns. You ever seen like that sort of stuff? Yeah, you can you can picture it. I don't you don't yeah. even need to play it. You can picture it. Um, the, I don't think I actually know any of the games, but I've, I can like visually picture like imagine. I know exactly what that yeah. game is going to um, be about and why I would probably buy it. <laughs> the producer is. Uh, He's staying on to finish the game, but he is leaving the company. He's going to form his own studio because of the amount of censorship that's heading their way. Mm-hmm. Um, they they really don't... He, he says, basically, it something. A, a, I think he said a thread in his heart was broken, and he's decided, I'm going to make... I'm going to make my own games, and they're not going to be, like, anime titty games, and okay. I want people to go, that's from the anime titty guy... He made this game, and my favorite quote was, how sassy. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited for whatever he makes. But I think that's, I think it, I think that's sad and moving into another topic, Sekiro, you know the concept. Yeah. Right. Um, people are saying, should it have an easy mode? And would that, well, I say and, but the easy mode and the points for and against, and against I think are fairly easy to break down i don't think i'm straw manning anyone here for easy mode some people can't complete it mm-hmm. and that therefore you know like if they can't complete it they can't enjoy it uh, they can't get past certain parts they also say um for people with disabilities it'd be better to have an easy mode um and then for people against they say no the game's intended to be difficult it doesn't need an easy mode if you want to know the story go watch a walkthrough or whatever um uh but what do you what do you think i think i i kind of split i don't think uh i don't think it should get an easy mode but then again i am in that group of i can't get past a certain point because uh in my opinion i feel like if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen like because like if you can't obviously you weren't meant to play 
<laughs> dark side. Yeah, that's what you 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 need to improve your skill level. To that's that's almost that. sort of how I feel as well. Where it's like, it's like you hit a wall. Well, you've got two options. You either grind it and get better, or the game's not, you don't have to. Like no one's forcing you to play. You can just go. Yeah. Well, that's like I have so many games as a kid where I'm like I don't know, like Monster House. Yeah. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Eh, move on. I'll I'll go fucking play Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Like who cares? Like, <laughs> like I I almost feel like that's like a weird like. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's me with Dark Souls. Like I I. I'm like stuck. I think on the first like like right after the first boss, I'm stuck yeah. in that level. So I'm just like, I'm like, fuck it. I'll like to calm myself down. I don't want someone like Minecraft, which is like, yeah. so, which just like calms me down for some reason. And then I'll like throw in like Bioshock or something. That yeah, I, I know I'm good at. I also felt when I played Dark Souls One for the first time, I was just like, what the where the fuck am I going? What the fuck am I doing? I've got no clue. And eventually you'll you, you figure it out or you look it up and you like we're in the yeah. we're in the the modern age you can look it up on a computer yeah like you if you if you want to just look it up you if you feel to, that you don't have to wait the next day to go to school to go like hey guys I'm stuck yeah. at this level yeah what, what do i do yeah um you just or you don't have to call through. the tip helpline they used yeah. to do that um yeah. i just i don't know it's just to me it's it's like i remember there was actually a front software developer who said um one of our benchmarks to see if the game is too difficult is can Miyazaki, the director, beat yep. this without help? If he can, then it's not difficult enough because he's not good at action games. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, Miyazaki. <laughs> like, looking through his timeline since 2009 Demon Souls, it's been nothing but action games. I'm like, Miyazaki, what have you been doing with your life? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I think, I mean... I do I, like that benchmark, though. If you If the... <laughs> if the ceo can beat the game yeah. then then uh then we're doing our job well he's the ceo and director of the game so yeah. he is he's so if he know even if he knows like because he knows everything about the game at that point yeah but if he can't beat it then <laughs> yeah then they did their job yeah um well if he can beat it they did their job oh, yeah. make sure it's not too hard they want to make like because he he used to be level designer but i don't think he's doing that anymore i think he's more of just like he approves of things like you remember the yeah. have you ever seen the george lucas pre-sequel stuff where he goes oh yeah oh, where he walks into like that's the pretty concept much art and he's just like that's pretty much takes what, like his little stamp like, yeah oh, if i had that, if i had that. to say the bare minimum of what he does is that like he just goes approves um yeah. but certainly he's not good at the game he's not good at action games so if he can do it then yeah i mean it's fine um but i i mean i don't know uh, and also for the people with disabilities um like that one that one i can see well, there someone immediately posted a video, and they're oh. quadriplegic and they beat one of the bosses. Oh, so there's really no oh, excuse yeah. for <laughs> there's no excuse for for fucking games. There's no journalists. excuse at all to, to, to give it a. There's no reason at all to give it. Any well, I, Mark Kern, the he was the he was team lead for World of Warcraft back in the day as well. He's in StarCraft Two development. He says that games rather than lowering. The difficulty bar they we should be raising up uh, raising up to meet the needs of people with disabilities mm -hmm. so like the xbox uh, accessibility controller yeah. that's one thing you pointed to and said this is good um and i i agree i think accessibility controller by the way fantastic i think microsoft is doing great taking great strides there mm -hmm. um it works for pc as well that's i think that i think that's the big thing it doesn't just work for xbox or for pc and xbox i think that's great um yeah. uh, uh and uh, there was controversy with the xbox speaking of the xbox team uh the vice president for anthem he plays anthem he very much likes anthem and he a games journalist here's one thing here's what i say i like to say if you are someone who writes about games and you mm -hmm. don't like games why why are you yeah. writing about games like if if wb said hey potentially unemployed i'm gonna send you guys a review copy of mortal kombat 11 Mm -hmm. i wouldn't download it and play it i wouldn't that's the key point i wouldn't because yeah. i don't like fighting games i'm not good at fighting games i'm yeah. not interested in fighting games because of the all like like yeah. there's a lot of reasons why i wouldn't be the one doing it i would give it to liam or zach yeah. because they play fighting games they like fighting games yeah the only thing i would ever say about it in any sort of review would be if you don't like fighting games can this still be a fun game and i mean that's that's about all i would say i don't need to i don't need to make a big deal about no, I just think if you don't give a shit about games, why are you writing? And and yeah. I was, what I was saying was, I was thinking of um, I saw a, 
he was talk he he tweeted out a response to an article that I think PC Gamer had written where they said the most difficult part of Anthem has been patched, and the reviewer stated in there that they thought it was most difficult because they didn't know how to do combos in the game. And the vice president of Microsoft said, that's pretty sad if you're reviewing a game and you don't even know how to do something as basic as combos. Yeah. And I think, I, look, look, I'm on a level with you here. Mm-hmm. If you're terrible at the game, find someone has to work at PC Gamer who isn't terrible to review it. And this isn't a review. So let me say, in the in, like, if there's a video, or not a video, if there's an article, somebody goes... Because cause let's say if there's, like, an update for a game, you don't need to be good. You don't even need to play the game to write an article about that update. You just need to read the patch notes, you know? Yeah. Summarize it. So if somebody points to you and goes, Jeff, patch notes came out, write an, write an article. And you go, okay, I'm Jeff. I'll write, uh, I'll write a patch note. When you're writing that article, I want... This is this is for everyone here. If, if you think to yourself, how do I feel about this? Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't matter. People don't come there to hear you say... I this is my opinion on this. Like no, that's not important. Mm-hmm. It's this is about the patch notes. So I just it's like I don't know, man. It's why do you why do you like why? Let's say you are a food critic. You hate food. You only want to eat dirt. Why would you be a food critic then? You know? Yeah. Like I don't know. That's sort of my opinion. That was kind. Of, I kind of noticed that like halfway through while working at the gas station, mm-hmm. we both worked at but not at the same time. I was in the kitchen making pizzas. I'm not a fan of pizzas. Why did I take the job? Yeah. Well, you I think it was know. just because I, I, I just wanted to help Liam out because Liam was also working there. Yeah, yeah, same. Same. Yeah. He was like, Josh, you want a job? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then, fuck yeah. me. We never trust we... Liam when he says he wants a job. <laughs> fuck. Um, no, but, um, I mean, you didn't. Ju- we didn't just make pizzas. You also made yeah, we, uh, I mean, other shit. Yeah. Well, when I was working there i just made pizzas no one really ordered anything else so i panicked when like someone actually wanted a burger <laughs> that's i yeah. went i went shit you want to know the funniest thing about the burgers uh for me is that they weren't in the freezer yeah and i didn't know where they were and i would ask do you know where the burgers are and it was usually i was with the assistant manager for assistant manager mm-hmm. and she would go if you can't find them they're not there so I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure they're there. I just don't know where they are because one person a year asks for that. So why do I, like, why would I know where that is? But, like, er, with me, I was, like, I, I walked up to, uh, to, like, the uh, old, or the original food service mm-hmm. leader. I went, I went, where, I can't find the burgers. And I'm looking for burgers yeah. on the box. And she walks into the thing, and she's like, yeah, it's a little tricky. They're called beef patties. I went, I've mm. never heard anyone call a hamburger a beef patty. Well, for mine, I would walk back there and go, well, there's nothing but seven boxes of sausage patties, and that's not yeah. acceptable. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate I hate that gas station. It's such a fucking shithole. Yeah. It was also a health hazard every single fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that place. Um, when, when the... I, we'd like a point out, we're not going to name drop it no. at all and when we talk about it, it's just gonna be known as the, the gas, gas station. station but when i was working there because you know how like the front is supposed to check the outside garbages yes sometimes well unless it was uh with the the one person that we all liked which was oh yeah yes the she she would go out and do it but i'd, I'd do it to help her yes yeah. she'd have other stuff too and usually, I was working the slow season, mm-hmm. so I literally had no... There was a time where I went two months without a pizza order come in. <laughs> so I was literally just sitting looking at memes the most time. I got paid mm-hmm. to look at memes, but to continue my story, no one except Liam and her would check the yeah. garbages. So I would be like, I'll, I'll, I don't have anything to do. I'll, I'll go check it. So... Just, just remember, I'm working kitchen and I'm outside looking through the, you're checking the garbages. Mm-hmm. I'd wash my hands, but just. But did, were you wearing the, the schmock? Yeah, I'd be wearing the schmock. You, you needed to take that off. They told us later that you can't do uh, that. No, no one told me that. Yeah, because nobody gave a shit. Yeah. I'd wear that under my jacket, and all that, because I was working winter. Mm-hmm. That's that's the worst part. You work when you're working in the winter and you have to go check 
the garbage is, but you don't have gloves. So well, you're just like bare handing it. it. I think it hurts. I think the worst part is when you're checking garbages in the summer and it's a monsoon and mm -hmm. um, the power's out inside <laughs> and there is no place to rest because everything's on fire and god is a lie and i hate my bitch of an ex-wife <laughs> oh you know what i, I was you... i was wondering when we'd finally <laughs> hear my bitch of an ex-wife when, when you said you were paid to look at memes i'm gonna say this right away sam was paid to look at bbc news app yeah that's all he did but the difference between me and him is i would sit out by the warmer because there was no camera aimed well, at the warmer he went into the office which had a camera aimed directly well at that he chair. also <laughs> to be fair he also um didn't give a shit he didn't give a shit <laughs> whenever i worked with him he, he was just like well not he my didn't... problem it's like well sam they wrote they put a sign up nothing... specifically that it is your problem nothing, nothing against sam but if it he did all his stuff that i heard like or what i've heard because i never got to mm -hmm. work with you guys he would do all his stuff and he that was it he do what he yeah. needed to do. He would do the job of kitchen, but the problem is they really expected you to also do help at register. Mm -hmm. they, he he didn't he didn't do that though. Well, he did he did. I should say he did, but he had to be asked. He would never actively do it. Yeah, because he thought it wasn't his. Which is, I know why he thought it. I disagree. Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. Um, I mean, speaking of Sam. We're back. QHC boys are back. No yeah. longer QHC. We've rebranded. To potentially unemployed. I like that you had to read that off a sheet because you forgot what our fucking name was. No, I just... Uh, I, I went back because I have notes. Because uh, I was going to ask... What are your ask, uh, notes? Why rebrand to potentially unemployed uh, and uh, what's to come from okay. you guys? Well, potentially unemployed, we rebrand from QHC because QHC is just... Calling it QHC, easy. Mm -hmm. Zach didn't want to because QHC also stands for Queen's Hospital Center which is, I think, a hospital in the UK. And, and just for anyone that didn't know who QHC, or what QHC stood for originally, it stood for Queen's Happiest Corgi. I think our, our channeling was always Queen's Happiest Corgi. Yeah. We never shortened it to QHC, but we, we internally, you, that's what we called it. And we would when, refer to it as QHC. I think also in videos, we'd say, like, oh, we're back. QHC's back. And yeah, all that. QHC. Because it was just a hassle to say Queen's Happiest Corgi. No, yeah, that's that's the issue. Zach said that it was, uh, it was an in-joke that we took too far. Yeah. I don't think the name itself was an in-joke. Zach just asked me what's a name for our GTA 5, like, crew or whatever it was. And I said, Queen's Happiest Corgi. And he's like, that's good. And then we used it for the YouTube channel name as well. Yeah. Um, so, I don't, I don't know um, if... So, it, was ba it basically is just to sum it up. The rebrand was just to kind of shorten the name. Yeah. It was to shorten the name, give it a, a bit yeah. catchier, easy to remember. So, mm -hmm. that we're potentially unemployed. P E for everyone. <laughs> um, we won't share why it's P E, why I abbreviated to P E and not P U. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a story for another day, another yeah. podcast maybe. Um, but yeah, we're planning on um, we're doing we're gonna do movie tie-ins, a lot of uh, <laughs> licensed things. Yeah. Um, I wanted to uh, as an example, movie tie-ins like when Shark Tales came out. Yeah, Shark it had Tale. a video game tie-in. So there's the movie and the video game, and the plan is to play the video game, and then at the end, I'll come in and review the actual movie. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we, uh, I forgot to bring the bion Bionicles, it doesn't really matter, because uh, we're not through the game, but yeah. uh, you're going to have to sit through so much fucking shit. Oh, man. <laughs> and the problem is, we're also going to have to sit through so much shit, because <laughs> I realized there's going to be so many Bionicle videos, because... <laughs> There's just so much footage. I'm sitting here and I'm like, got one video done. Still another 30 minutes of footage just sh sift through. I'm like, oh no. I don't want to watch 30 more minutes of Bionicles. Not to mention, there's going to be movies like... I found out Disney's Kim Possible movie yeah. came straight to DVD. Yeah. So I, I snagged that up because I didn't know how long that was going to actually be on shelves. Because there could have been that moment where, like, they were like, it's not selling. We're gonna just going to take it off the shelf. And I'd be like, no, I got to find it Throw on the it internet. in the bin. Throw it in the $2 yeah. bin. So I went, so I, I snagged it up for way more than I should have. 20 bucks. Yeah. And uh, that that's one of those movies where, like, Shark Tales, I'll, I can sit through by myself. I'd be able to. I used to watch that shit as a kid. This Kim Impossible movie, I look at it every day and go, 
I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't know. Rufus looks like shit. You're gonna feel that way so much when you you're not even gonna make you're probably gonna make it through maybe the first Bionicle movie. Problem is, I'm gonna hand you four. I think. I think I have oh, four. You have know, four. One of them's not even like. The uh, thing is, I re- so uh, literally the first thing I say to Liam in the video is like he's playing the trailer for the Star Wars um, Lego Star Wars, and I say, "Oh, you told Justin you're not playing any of your gay Lego games." Because there's no movie for it, and he's uh, uh, you're not playing gay Lego games, and Liam goes, "Because there's no movie for it." And I go, "There's a movie for this fucking game, or whatever." Like, and he goes, "This is a gay Lego game." I think he, start, he says, "I," I think he goes, "This is a gay Lego game," referring to Bionicle Heroes. Yeah. And I go, "There's a movie for this. There is no movie specifically for Bionicle Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not canon. Yeah. Um, it is a movie that because it's a game that takes several." like characters yeah. so i am gonna have to give you multiple movies and you're gonna have to sit through them so you can yeah. give us the best of the lore and the plot i will give a ranking instead of a review <laughs> oh! which movie was better no they're all bad I just, I just started off the video so to point out uh the title says which or what's the best bionicle movie i like to give full disclaimer they're all shit <laughs> they're all really bad but i had to pick one that was best so i i guess i picked the one that i le- wanted to least amount of death to come to me <laughs> yeah yeah uh, um, but yeah, there's gonna be that there's gonna be maybe a holiday special when it yeah we want to we want to do uh live action skits uh and i think we're also still uh old qhg stuff where we just all like play smash brothers yeah you know, get like, to, we all get together but the main plan that you talked to me about was how you wanted qhg to be where like maybe if liam had an idea yeah he'd, film it and yeah well zach and i have been that. chatting and he wants to restart his own channel so it looks like that's probably not going to be the the case mm-hmm. uh and I'm, I'm like okay well then i'll restart my old channel as well so i think watch out for videos from zach by the way that's gonna be <laughs> great i can't wait to put his his link to his channel in the description yeah uh, it's been years since i seen it i think he still has an ms paint drawing i made <laughs> of his minecraft character looking at his minecraft dog dying i think I, I think, think it's I went still there. Re- I went to his channel like recently, like a few months ago, because I was just looking through all my subscriptions. I went, "Oh, it's Zach's channel." I went there. <laughs> it is that that yeah. is his banner. Uh, I um, yeah. I've actually I have I've made a couple videos for my channel, so okay. those might go up. I think I'm gonna put one up today, and I have another one. I told my friend Brandon, uh, or now on YouTube, he's scary Brandon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I told him that uh about podcast now we were going to talk about uh, the return of the QHC mm-hmm. gang as potentially employed. I told him how it's always QHC and Justin. And he just <laughs> yeah. laughed. And he's like, why? When, because originally I wasn't a part of it because I had my own channel. So that just became the running gag. Yeah. That was just always the honorary special You're guest. always special. And the o- and that's then, literally that the channel. My t- that is my title of it. And it's like, well, and then I went, oh wait, what if there's not what if it's like Justin and someone else? I went, well, I guess some bitch is going to die. <laughs> that is my title. Look, Ben <laughs> appeared in one episode that never went up on the channel. He did appear in more, but those never went up. And yeah. he was still, he referred to him as Intern Ben. You yeah. were in like twice as many videos as like I think Sam was. And you were still special guest yeah. Justin. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. I think it was like when you guys first made it. It was like, it's QHC. And you just said you could be be a part of the special guest. I went, all right. Yeah, I mean, Zach... I was in the old Facebook group chat, I think. <laughs> like, the really old. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, You know, I think Zach also, for the most part, um, he felt an intense rivalry with you. We were supposed to delete, oh, yeah. we were supposed to delete the channel when you passed us in yeah, subscribers. Was, yeah, it was, it was like when you get more than, like, 220-something. Yeah. It happened, and then I hit 220, and Zach looked at me and went, oh, I guess it's going to be a soon, we're going to be shutting, or deleting our channel, and I went, oh, okay, <laughs> Yeah, right? And then, then what happened was, it went, I, I surpassed him, he didn't notice, I went, I went jokingly, I went, Zach, I guess you gotta, you gotta delete the channel, and that was, I think, when the first, uh, thing happened of Zach just putting all the videos on private. He's done that many like, times uh, before. That's yeah. the thing with working with Zach is he's occasionally wiped the slate clean but have nothing to put back up. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he'll occasionally go, we should put stuff up. And I'll go, yeah, when are we going to do that? And he goes, oh. Uh-huh. And that's just like, that's the life yeah. we lead. All right. Uh, I think we hit all the points. Uh, we have two We have two points. Oh, what is it? Uh, 
mainstream artists we listen to lately oh, and yeah. future plans for our channels, which we I, kind of talked about some future yeah, plans I think for the potential employed. But when I, when I say mainstream artists, I mean like artists where you say like the name of the band or like musician and people are like, oh, I, I know them. None. Right there. None? None. Death wow. Cab is the most mainstream I get nowadays. <laughs> um, uh, I've listened, I, I think uh, there's one that I wouldn't consider because I was listening to them before. Mm-hmm they went mainstream but i listened to like foo fighters recently. yeah yeah skillet is the one that i don't consider that is mainstream enough but i still put it on the list because they got really big mm-hmm. like you i feel like you can now say like i listen to skillet and people are like oh i've heard some of their songs but it was like i found them right before their song monster took off yeah so there's that and then uh more recently i was listening to billy eilish She's like a seventeen yeah, yeah, year old. Yeah. No, yeah, I know, yeah. I know the concept. Yeah, and she's. I, I just, I thought she was really talented. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good. Uh, There's some music videos that I watch. I'm just like, I don't like watching. Well, it. let me tell you this, Justin. Uh, I, I, I think the most mainstream that I listen to regularly. That's the thing. Regularly, like I'll occasionally listen to a song that I think is technically mainstream. Mm-hmm. The album that I look, I have six CDs that can go in my car, and my it's car radio. It has yeah. six CDs. There's three Death Cab albums. Um, there's their most recent one, and then two of their earlier ones. Right. Mm-hmm. Then next is Nate Roos's Grand Romantic. Nate Roos was the lead singer of Fun before they went on hiatus. Mm-hmm. There's um, a, another album from the '90s. There's there's Connor Oberst's um, when he was in Bright Eyes, and there's lift uh lifted or the stories in the soil keep you to the ground and then i think the last one is like cataldo from 2013 none of that is mainstream yeah. none of it is um and uh, look i'm gonna i'm gonna be real with you i don't like people who sing really well i don't think they make good music because they got good voices i don't like that i like people who sound like garbage shout out to told slant <laughs> shout out told slant <laughs> Uh, pour, one out, pour one out for pour one out pour one out for told slant <laughs> no uh, I mean, yeah I love I love him I love told slant so fuck you, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying fuck your oh Billie Eilish talent. there was there was a video I was watching recently about like Billie Eilish she was on Ellen and Ellen brought up how she has like a bunch of uh, fans who are famous and she's like, you got this person, this person. Dave Grohl is a fan, and he's in the audience, actually. And then it just, it, it cuts to a view of Dave Grohl with sunglasses on his head, and arm on his knee, and he's just holding his mouth like this, just watching the show. I'm just like, Dave Grohl just appears everywhere I look now. Like, I can't look anywhere and not somehow Dave Grohl is a part of it. I'm just like, this is all because of, it's all because of Sir Lucy Foo Fighters. Oh, well, okay. I'm a- you you were say uh, you said music industry. We didn't really talk about the industry. I'll give you something yeah. about the industry. Uh, you remember the guy who uh, allegedly allegedly raped Kesha? No. Do you know the concept? Did you hear yeah. about that? I don't think so. Her producer, I don't know if it was raped, sexually assaulted her. Uh. Um, and she still had to fulfill the contract with him. Mm-hmm. Um, he screwed over another artist. <laughs> um, Becky G. I don't remember the single "Shower." I think that was the big one. I think it sounds familiar. She was. She did a commercial for some company, some like drink company, yeah. and the 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 producer of that song. I think he was the producer. The the producer of that song, right? He he owned stock in this company, which is why she did the ad. Mm-hmm. And it's the company I think is about to go public or something, which means that. Um, he stands to make a lot of money, but he promised her stock in the company in, in exchange for doing the music video, or the yeah. ad, rather. And this company's about to go public. She stands to make a lot of money, except that she didn't get that stock. Yeah. She never got it, and so she's like, you screwed me over here. I didn't even get money for that commercial. I advertised this brand, and now I'm screwed because she didn't get the stock. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, what a piece of shit. Like, why? how does he keep getting away with it? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so that's the industry. Um, uh, Jack Antonoff keeps winning Grammys. Uh, Liam, I want to shout out to Liam. Shout out to his favorite pop princess, Carly Rae Jepsen. 
she's releasing a new album soon. I only know that because Liam retweeted that on Twitter. Yeah, I saw that too. At Stopper Rock on Twitter. Shout out to my boy, my yeah. lovely baby boy, Liam. Um, hey, is, there, is there anything else? Uh, just talking about future plans. What's future plans channels. for yours? Uh, well, I, did, I wrote a list because there was a few things I wanted to do. But uh, I wanted to try doing more movie reviews, both on my channel and potentially unemployed. I wanted to also do game reviews, but starting off with PC because it's the easiest to yeah, capture. Certainly. And then uh, I want to make a return of Let's Plays because I haven't done that in like a few months. So, because I, for some reason, I find myself always going, or when I go to play video games, and I go record it. Like I'll have like that. That like, like it's kind of like a like a phase of like I want to record all these mm-hmm. games and that, and then it dies away and I kind of just want to do other stuff on my channel yeah. instead and then it'll come back. So I'm in that cycle. So I'm like about to about to go through that phase of recording a bunch of gameplay footage to play video games. Uh, I want to make a. I've been saying it in nerd out for like the past like. 10 episodes that i want to make a like a room tour type video mm-hmm. of my collection and that but because my room is such a shit show i go i keep on going like i can't what you should do right this moment is you get like just like a box that can fit whatever it in mm-hmm. light light it so it's super bright and uncomfortable <laughs> put like gloves on your hands and like put the thing in there and like touch it and have the camera filming in the box like have the camera at your chest yeah and just like film in the box to so make it really creepy and uncomfortable and that's how you should film everything <laughs> that's just the all all the videos and then, like that instead of actually recording games just record that footage and then make it like a look like a reaction video <laughs> i mean I, to me that's like the ultimate like this is content this is content this is content now uh, this is content but uh i want i've I've looked at my room and I also was like, you know what? I'm gonna return to my roots, which was action figure reviews. <laughs> I thought you were saying I'm gonna return to my root, and I was like, what does that mean? I was trying to think back, like Quest for Mountain Dew Part Three. Um, did you? Me and Brand, me and Brandon were talking about like we we're like we should make a Quest for Mountain Dew Part Three, but make it like a cliffhanger ending so that we have to make a fourth one because we're at this point where it's like we want to make it but when the time comes we're just like eh. so did you see on the on the liam yeah, pub yeah. that said justin shirtless i didn't see that i didn't see that watch now liam is most vulnerable <laughs> zach's favorites justin shirtless overwatch porn <laughs> that's what i did like oh uh, on the liam hub it said uh there was just the one Overwatch porn yeah, or something. Yeah, it's all it's all Liam or <laughs> Liam and you. I dude, I went through um the Bloodborne videos because yeah. I I started I had to there I watched them because I was like oh, I'll take the pictures of Liam from there mm-hmm. while I was watching through them. Uh, there was a really great part that I cut out to put in the QH in the <laughs> potentially unemployed episode. And I'm like, thank God this footage of Liam exists. This is gold. I'm going to use this. So I, like, I stole your video. I was like, I don't know if he'd even have these files anymore. What does it matter? Wait, like, what was the, was it like an actual like segment of him playing the game? Or was it the it was, video where... Uh, no, it's from uh, Bloodborne. So it's, it is like... Oh, it, so, it, it, so it's it's um because like a combination. There's a, there's a video or there's a segment in in there where he like talks about like like uh that's my secret cap. I'm always like and he said or I'm always hating my ex wife or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that and then I just plastered his face over Bruce Banner from the Avengers and then I just like kept his face as he turned into Hulk and then I said uh oh no. He said, that's my secret cap. I'm always using torch strats. Yeah. He kept, like, hitting the torch, torch strats. Yeah. So then, when it pun- when the Hulk punches that thing in the first Avengers, I put torch strats over over that, so he was using torch strats. Yeah. Or, no, I think I put it over his fist. It was just, like, torch oh, no, I really appreciate that was, <laughs> those videos. Of Liam weird. was like, I'm really glad that you used copyrighted footage for that part. I went, no problem. I haven't gotten a copy <laughs> claim yet. Yeah, it's so yet- fucking fucking slendy pants gets a copyright claim for christian like 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 op like christian uh, chanting, angelic like music right? and the part that it's claiming is uh me going like ah ah fuck to 
like Doodle Bob, I think it was in it. It's just like I'm like yes, me shouting fuck a lot is is so angelic. YouTube's copyright claim works really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are the times where like Lego games have like the yeah music, yeah like certainly. Lego Harry Potter did movie license games. Yeah. If they're like for for move like specifically for movies, Bionicle Heroes. I haven't run to any issues because it's not a fucking movie. Yeah. Thanks, Josh, for making that joke right at the beginning. <laughs> I left it in. I left yeah. it in because it makes me happy of me yelling at Liam. <laughs> I there is a movie for this. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do like a like a rebrand, but not like changing my name mm-hmm. or anything. Just like updating my profile pic yeah. and my banner, and then uh, my the series that I've been trying to get my friends, but they're always really busy. But it's called uh, the Imagination series. Oh yeah. But yeah. it's uh, basically it when me and my friends from. Another town. I should really bleep out that town name. But uh, the we had this game. It but it wasn't a game to us. It was real life, because we were we were ten years old. And uh, the thing that we were doing was like, we were like we were a Jedi. We all had Omni Trixes from Ben Ten. We had a Pokemon orchard under the school. We had a lab. Uh, one of my friends had a had an Iron Man suit. We were we attended Hogwarts as well as normal school. Uh, our school would get attacked by the separatists. Sorry, and all this. So it was just a, it was a garbled mess. But I wanted to make like an actual series because I was looking at that recently. I was remembering back to that one. That would actually be a great like little series for like YouTube or something because mm. it's so full of copyright characters. You there's no other place I could go <laughs> but YouTube. So I was like, all right. So I looked at like all my friends. I was like. Um, we have a Jedi, a wizard, or a wizard slash witch, uh, and one of them's Iron Man. And they looked at me. I went, I don't know. I don't know which one. So I, I'm a like, I was like, what am I watching lately? I've been watching Dragon Ball. Lately. Yeah, I was I'll say, be saying Dragon Ball. So like, you're gonna yeah. get super jacked, or or <laughs> steroids. You're gonna do steroids. But like, so. I was like, I'll be a Saiyan, and then I was like, well, there's gonna be a problem with the Saiyan because if once I once in the show I became a Super Saiyan, why have the other, why have the rest of my mm-hmm. friends? So I I've been trying to power scale the Super or the Saiyan so mm-hmm. that you you can still rely on the yeah. other team. So I made it where it was like, okay, you have a Saiyan, and then when their limits are broken, then they go into the non-canon false Super Saiyan, mm-hmm. and then. And then, like, each Saiyan transformation is harder than the next. So, you got... So, it's, like, really hard to go Super Saiyan and all that. I, I, yeah, so it's, like, Even, like, harder than the show. When you uh, jerk off a lot in one day, it gets harder every time to (laughs) to, uh, to climax. Yeah, I feel you. (laughs) Yeah, but I've been trying to figure out, like, how I'm going to do it because all my friends are busy. I was actually going to ask if you guys want... If, like, you guys potentially employ one to... Make this series. You guys pointing at me alone. <laughs> just wanting to like, I gotta make the decision for a soul. Uh, I don't. Yeah, you'd have to ask everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up doing that next time we're all hanging out. Yeah. But like, yeah, I got my brother on board somehow, which is really weird. I was like, Jacob. He's like, what? I was like, I want to make this imagination series, but because we're related and we'd be related in the show, you'd have to be a Saiyan. Are you in? And he's like, he looked at me weird, like he's like. I was just like, you'd, you'd be like Gohan, I'd be Goku. And he just looked at me even more like, you're fucking stupid. And I was like, I was like, you do know Gohan surpasses Goku at one point. And he's like, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I had to remind him when Gohan surpasses Goku at one point. But he he was on board after he found that out. So he, he, surpa- he became a Super Saiyan 2 for them all. And Jay was like, all right, I'll do it. So that's those are my future plans. Yeah, I mean, potentially unemployed. Uh, we're gonna aim to just make uh, pretty much similar to what we're doing with QHC, but more stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, focus it a bit more. Um, hopefully more regular. Like that's the yeah. thing. I don't know when. That was the. I think that was one problem with QHC was we'd record like three things one month and then it go out in three weeks and then you yeah. get back together until like three <laughs> months later yeah that was that was really the big issue zach was surprised but we didn't post anything in 2018 at all 
it has yeah, it has like been that. two years. I think yeah. I think the last Smash Brothers went up in January of 2017. So it has been two years over by this point. When we when we finally don't have to worry about high school, <laughs> that's when we stopped. <laughs> we 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 were all done with high school in that 2017. Yeah. Yet we still didn't do anything. There's so many fucking squirrels outside. There's the, literally I'm watching one eat a nut. Well, I think now we hit all the topics. Yeah, now we hit all the topics, and now I get to try to convince you of a different name than podcast time. Yeah. If anyone else has a different name than podcast time, please leave in the comments below. Uh, I'm porn, begging you. Porncast time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want YouTube to actually like me. <laughs> what? You don't think they'll like porncast time? Porncast time 712, my dude. <laughs> Just in time for sex, 712.